too bad we created this installation. Community members are working to build a better future for veterans. Piece by piece, a house in Little River is transforming into a stepping stone for them as they transition from soldiers overseas to members of the community. The people that are staying here have to be able to work at some point. And while they're here, they're going to be working towards that goal. And if they're not job searching or going to school, they're going to be working the garden we're putting out back. They're going to be working on the house, whatever needs to be done. With two weeks left until the grand opening, Mr. Sparky Electric employees donated their time by installing smoke detectors and emergency exit signs, work that would cost more than $2,000. This really is a community house helping those who have given so much for us. So like I said, we're just a small part of that. One of the things they still needed for their newly renovated kitchen was an oven. And out of nowhere today, the community once again came together to help out. They come and look, they say, oh, I'm going to call my boss. And then next thing you know, I get a phone call and said, we're going to take care of this. So, I mean, that's, that's phenomenal. Mr. Sparky's purchased a nearly $700 oven for the house. Another piece of the puzzle solved and one step closer to finishing a home for veterans looking for a second chance. If we get seven veterans in here and they're all working together, it's almost like when they were back in the service and it's going to make them feel good because they're dealing with people this, with the same mentality as they are. And helping each other as they start to heal and hope. In Horry County, Liz Cooper, WPDE News Channel 15.